For today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to make a logo with 3D lighted letters in GIMP 2.8. So for starters, let's create a new project. We're going to use 1280 by 350 pixels. Click OK. And there's our layer, background layer. Now what we're going to want to do is add our text. So click on the text. And we're going to use sans bold. Size, I'm going to use 180 pixels. And we're going to want to make sure our foreground color is black. Left click. And type in your text. Now we're going to want to move that. It's very important that move the active layer is selected. Let's move that to the center. And right click, layer to image size. And as you can see, it makes our text layer and our background layer the same size. Very important. Now we're going to want to duplicate this layer. So we're going to click on the create a duplicate. And there you can see our duplicate layer it's got a number one beside it but we're not going to work with that right now we're going to go back to our original text layer select it by left clicking we're going to go over to the measure tool because now we need to know how far we are from the left edge or from the edges outer edges and the upper edge so left click and drag and as we're doing this it's measuring and as you can see down here at the bottom of our screen, it says 632 pixels. So we're going to remember that. Write that number down. Now let's see how far we are from the top. And again, as we do this, our distance comes up in the bottom, 182 pixels. Now that we've got that, let's go up to the filters, blur, and motion blur. Now in here, we want to click on Zoom and then enter our variance that we wrote down. So our width is 632 pixels. Our height will be 182. Now make sure that the blur outward is unchecked. It's important. That's got to be unchecked. And as far as our blur parameters go, we're going to put in a length of 30. Length of 30 here. Click OK. Now you'll see we've got a blur. It's kind of heightened our letters. Now let's go over to the Select by Color tool and left click anywhere in the white. And as you can see now we've selected anything that isn't white. So all our text has been selected. Let's go up to select and invert. Again, everything that is not white is selected. Now we're going to want to add a gradient to this. So click on the blend tool. Go down to gradient, click. And here's all your different gradients. For this layer, we're going to use foreground to background RGB and our shape is going to remain linear. Make sure we're using the black foreground tool. We're going to left click right about here and then drag it down and release. And now it looks like it's got a light glow. Go over to our new layer or our duplicate layer. We're going to right click. We're going to go down to alpha to selection. Left click on that. Now we've basically selected the front of our text. And now we're going to work on getting our glow on the top of our letter. So we're going to collect, select the ellipse select tool. And with this, we got to make sure in our mode we've selected the third one from the left. Now go over to our layer, left click and hold, and we're going to dry, drag this tool over like this. We'll resize it. 
as you can see it only selects outside of the ellipse tool so let's go up to the select and shrink set the pixels to 2 okay and now you can see we've selected just the top area of the letters and now we're going to want to add a new layer so click on the layer make sure it's set to transparent click OK select the layer by left clicking we're going to add a gradient to that for this we're going to use foreground to transparent so left click our shape will remain linear but now we want to reverse our foreground and background colors we're going to use white for the foreground color left click just above your letters drag down and release and there we have a shine it's going to add the shine effect or a light from above go up to select none and there you can see it's coming together nicely now we want to add a little bit of a blur to a couple of layers so let's select the one just above the background we'll go up to filters blur Gaussian blur we're going to want to set the horizontal and vertical pixels to 2 and OK and then we'll select the layer just above that left click go back up to filters and because we just used Gaussian blur we can click on repeat Gaussian blur and that'll give us another blur effect so you can see it's a little bit blurry now so now we're going to add some color to our project. Let's click on the background. Go back over to Gradient or Blend Tool. Now we want to change our color. And you can pick any color you want. For this, I'm going to use red. So select red, OK. Now you can see we've selected red as our foreground color. In Gradient, we're going to go back to Foreground to Background or RGB. Now this is important, the shape. We're going to go to Radial. This creates our lighting effect. Left click in the center, drag out as far as you want, and release. And there you have your project. Now we can collapse all these into one layer. Go to Image, Flatten Image. There's our one layer. And there's our finished product. And you can save it as anything you'd like. A PNG, a JPEG.